Hello to my Monday Motivators fans. This month I'm focusing on the wellness pillar of live a big life. If you recall, I'm taking you on a five month journey based on the five pillars of life, career, family, financial, spiritual, and wellness. In April, I spent time on the financial pillar, but I am really excited about the wellness pillar this month. Just think about when you feel really good. You've eaten properly, you've got a good night's sleep, you have all this energy, right? It's so wonderful. You can be a better problem solver, you're more creative, you're energized, you want to do more things with your friends and your family. You also really care about people and have better relationships. So this is a really important pillar. It impacts all the other pillars. Today's topic is, it's all about you. There are three topics that I want to focus on within this umbrella, and they are pause, guilt, and backlog. So let's start with pause. First of all, you have to make the time for yourself. Whether that is sitting in a jacuzzi tub for two hours, or taking a long walk, or hiking, riding a bicycle, or just laying on a hammock, reading a good book. It's really important that you make time for you. Over all the years of working with thousands of people across the country, I often hear people, especially women, tell me, well, they can't take time for themselves. They have to get their errands done. They have their children that they have to take care of. They have to fix dinner or do the laundry or balance the checkbook, right? And they feel guilty. They don't want to take the time. But the point is you have to make time for yourself especially parents. Parents often feel guilty. And yes, you do have a lot of responsibilities with your children. But again, you have to make that time for yourself, replenish yourself, and rejuvenate yourself. Guilt. This is a good one. Even if we take the time for ourselves, we tend to feel guilty, right? I've heard of you know, women who go off and take an afternoon to have lunch and go to the spa, and the whole time they're at the spa, they're feeling guilty about being there. And you know, how are the husbands doing? How are the kids doing? Or their significant others? Or, oh, I was supposed to go to the supermarket. Well, you know what? It does you no good if you make this time for yourself and you're feeling guilty about it. So get over it. You deserve it. Eventually, you will realize that by taking this time for you, and I don't mean sitting and being on the emails and Facebook and all of that. I mean quiet, relaxing, replenishing time. When you learn to make that time for yourself, you are going to see that there is a greater benefit and you will actually be able to give more to the people you really care about. Your family, friends, um, being a great employee. If you truly care about others, learn to make time for yourself and don't feel guilty. Third, backlog. Sometimes you're going to be sitting there thinking, well, I can't take this time for myself. I have a long to-do list and I have tasks to finish and then I'll come back and I'll have so much more to do. I often feel this way when I have a lot of projects that I'm working on with very tight deadlines and I have personal errands and I have my chores at home to take care of. Sometimes I'm thinking, oh, I can't afford to take these two hours for myself because then I'm going to still have all this work to do. You're right. You're still going to have all the work to do. The chores will still be there and your work will still be there. But you know what? I've learned that when I take that time for myself, when I take the hour, when I take the two hours, or maybe I take an afternoon and do something that's really enjoyable, I actually come back with more energy, more enthusiasm, and I can tackle those projects at a much higher level. I also notice that I'm more creative, and if I am dealing with a problem, I am ready to nail that problem. So don't feel guilty. Make sure you pause, 
Don't worry about the backlog. In fact, you should strategize ahead of time and maybe get some of that work done beforehand. Put in a lot of extra hours so that when the weekend comes, you can really enjoy yourselves. The idea is, again, you are worth it. This month, it's all about you. So make time for yourself. Get out and enjoy life.